All right, so this is day 13. I'm right now standing in Colby Meadow. This beautiful view of the, this mountain right up in front of me. It's called the Hermit. It's at 13,000 feet. And then right behind there is the Evolution Basin. That's what we're going to be heading up tomorrow. We have this beautiful sunset. It's really quite great. So today we went 12.1 miles. Uh, we started out Muir Trail Ranch and we came up to uh, Evolution Valley, which is where I'm standing right now, and Colby Meadow, which is the last meadow before uh, we head up to Muir Trail, or Muir Pass tomorrow. Muir Pass is going to be, I believe, at around 12,000 feet, um, if not that, right under it. Fucking mosquitoes. Anyways, um, so Alex, his knee was not in a good position, so he decided not to join us. It is a sad day, but, uh, since he just recently had surgery, we decide, he decided, and we very much agreed with him, that it would not be a good idea to really put his knee under that kind of stress. So he, we're hoping that he's in Fresno. We asked him to call uh, Joey and Jeff, who are, um, at, well, Joey because, well, fiance, and Jeff because I wanted to make sure that he knew that we were uh, on schedule. So that's great. Uh, so while we were hiking up, we got to see a bunch of uh, old friends that we've been meeting on the trail. One of them is Christmas Tree. He was a really, really cool guy. Uh, he actually is at Portland State. And then, um, I'm trying to remember, he's hiking with Jamie and one other person. I think her name's Amy. Uh, hopefully they're not watching this because I really butcher names. And uh, yeah, as we hiked up, it the views just kept on getting better and better. It's really interesting, once you enter King's Canyon, you literally enter into a canyon. It's called Goddard Canyon. Uh, it's really steep, really beautiful. The water was just glorious. It had this right amount of emerald shade of... Uh, it's more of like an aquamarine. So once we got to the trail intersection to come up to Evolution Valley, I was like, okay, lunchtime, and I'm going to go jump in. Frickin' cold, but I feel cleansed. So that was good. Um, and also we got to meet with the ranger. Um, forgot what the uh, name of the ranger station is. And we didn't get actually the ranger's name, but we got to hear some interesting stories about people that had to be saved. And the most intense um, rescue this year was I think two weeks ago and it was an individual uh, who ascended way too fast and she got fluid build up in her lungs. So yeah, that kind of sucks. Um, the other most common type of injury according to the ranger is blown out knees, um, twisted ankles. Usually they can walk out with that and broken ankles. So a lot of crazy shit happens out here. None of that has happened to us yet. I mean, my foot was a little Felt like it was swelling up a little bit, but I uh, loosened up the shoe and that made a whole, whole bit of, a whole difference. Um, I'm currently walking around in sandals in this meadow. And yeah, um, we are on the first day of our seven day stretch. I'm trying to focus on things day by day because if I think about it too much, um, I'm not gonna wanna do it and I kinda have to, I'm really committed. And then after that, it's four days with Jeff and Bill. So yeah, I'm going to get out of here before the mosquitoes eat me alive or annoy the hell out of me. So yeah, uh, this is day 13.